if I could visit anyone in the world, probably my husband, Chris Evans. This is bringing back so many memories. Okay, not good memories. Stop, stop it, stop it right now. Yeah, go ahead, good you night. little psycho. I'm gonna need y'all to appreciate how I did my hair. It took me like 15 minutes, so if y'all can just like leave a like because of how dedicated I am to filming this video, that would be great. Did my hair. Well, don't look in the back. Don't look in the back. <laughs> I did my hair a certain way because we are gonna be playing Amanda the Adventurer 2, the demo. I have been looking forward to this game for the longest time. It was one of my favorite games that I played last year. And it's like one of those games that I think about so often. And I'm gonna tell you why. The story in this game is so crazy and unique and scary and creepy, but also like really tragic and beautiful and like sad. And I love it so much. And I also love the black representation. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you about this game. Like what happened in the first game. There's this guy named Sam Colton. He was just, um, Honestly, I don't remember what his occupation was, but he ended up adopting this girl named Rebecca. She was like eight to 10 years old. You know, he's being a single father, things like that. And then he decides to make this show called Amanda the Adventurer. The show actually starred his daughter, Rebecca. It was kind of like Adore the Explorer, a show where the character's like, do you know where the knife is? In my hand. <clears throat> don't know what that was about. Sam was directing the show. Now it was low budget at the time, but people still loved it because it had this sincerity to it and it was very genuine. And you know, anytime something's low budget, it feels like very, you know, camp. So it, that was kind of the vibe of it. But then this big corporation called Hamlin Entertainment, they decide to go to Colton and they're like, hey, your daughter's pretty good at this acting thing. You wanna like collab with us and we can give you a bigger budget. Hey, you can even have a co-star named Wooly, who's a sheep. And Wooly is so precious, bro. He's the cutest thing. And then Sam is like, I mean, yeah, like I would love for the show to reach a broader audience. Cause you know, he's genuine. He's thinking about the people, not really about the money. But Hamlin, it's a corporation. Of course they're thinking about the money. They don't care about anything else. So they do this show and you know, it's going well. It's really popular. Everyone's loving it. And for some reason, at a certain point, when kids start watching the show, they start acting weird. They're just looking at the TV, just, just like they're under a trance or something. Like they just can't look anywhere else their parents are like calling them tapping them and they're like hey we're, we're gonna get some ice cream you want to come and the kids are just staring at the tv just like bum, do it, bum, do it, bum. completely out of it so you know some parents they end up just turning off the tv say the tv's acting up unfortunately there are some kids that actually go missing after they watch the show there are these moments where it seems like amanda who is the character and, and amanda the adventurer it seems like she's actually talking to you because there is this one scene secret tape that you can find. And the parents are talking about ice cream. And then once they find out that their kid is missing, the TV is still playing and, and Amanda, she says, mmm, I love ice cream. So like Amanda, she's her own entity. She can actually see and hear what's going on in the real world. And the reason for that is because when Sam and Rebecca were first getting into the show, Hamlin had Rebecca sign this contract, basically signing away her soul. And Sam was in prison at the time. There was no parent or legal guardian or like any kind of witness to what Hamlin was making this like nine-year-old child do. It gets to another point where Hamlin is like, hey, Rebecca, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We want you to read off the script. And when you hear it, it sounds like tongue twisters. But really, I'm telling you guys, it was a spell of some kind. Cause like, I was thinking, you know, it's like AI or something like that to say these tongue twisters and say them in like certain ways 
so that they can use AI to mimic her voice, which they eventually did. But I'm telling you, it was a freaking spell because how do you explain how Amanda is able to literally break the fourth wall and come out of the TV if it wasn't some kind of spell to make her real, you know? Or how she's able to just hear everything in everyone's TV, like, Come on, eventually the dad goes missing because he's saying, hey, I don't like what y'all making my daughter do. Like, this is weird. This is giving cults. I, I don't want to be involved in this. And then all of a sudden, Sam goes missing and the company's like, oh, we don't know what happened. Like, uh, we don't understand why all this speculation is happening. Like, we had nothing to do with his disappearance. And then Rebecca goes missing. However, the show continues. You know why? Because they use AI. They don't need Rebecca anymore. And there's this line, bro. There's this line that always stayed with me because it, when you understand the context of it, it is just so sad. But there is a secret tape you can find where Amanda, the character, where she's talking to you and asking if she can tell you a secret. And if you choose the option, yes, because there is an option to say no and it doesn't end well, but there's an option to say yes. She says, I'm out there somewhere because when she went missing, the company, they definitely killed her. They probably like chopped her up like she was sushi. Amanda said, I'm out there somewhere, meaning she's out there and no one ever found her. And there's this, this other line she said um, in a different tape where she said, sometimes I can feel myself rotting, which means she's dead. Her body is rotting away. It is just so sad. Like those two lines, I can't, I can't get it out of my head. Like it, it just, it gives, I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. It, it just makes me just, I just love a unique story, like investigation stories where you're trying to figure out what happened. I love those kind of stories because, you know, I'm a little bit of a detective, you know, I'll be searching for clues, you know, and my mind palace just de deducing and connecting and revising and I am Sherlock Holmes. I am. So yeah, that was a very long summary <laughs> of what happened in the first game. But I just got to give you guys the context so y'all know what we're about to get into. Because this game, it's great. I played it on my channel, so you can go watch those. I actually really like those videos that I made for, for that game because I feel like they came out really well. Like editing, commentary, I think that was like probably one of my best ones. And it, at the time, it did really well. So if you end up liking the video, give it a like, share, subscribe for more. And yeah, intro is over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Don't worry, I'm fixing the graphics. Hold on. Ah, ah. Guys, I'm like already about to start crying, bro. There was this part, it said, she said, let me out. Stop, stop, that's enough, that's enough. Let's get started, oh my, it's freaking me out. Stop playing the music. Oh my gosh, I missed a whole part of the story. There's this librarian named Miss Kate, who she at first was like, you know, um, promoting the show and everything. Whoa, it's kind of like, it's kind of lagging though. But she was like promoting the show. But then once the show started getting corrupted and everything, she started researching to see what was happening with the show. And I think eventually she went missing. And then so the character you play as, I miss so much. The character you end up playing as is the niece of Miss Kate. And I'm pretty sure the character you play as also eventually got taken by Hamlin. I am so scared. I am not ready. Bookworm. <laughs> That is so good. Hi, I'm Wendy Worm, your own personal assistant. Scan a book using the scanner to look up its checkout history. Greg the Grape 2. See, in this game, you gotta look at everything, okay? <gasps> hey, Margaret, found an odd tape in book returns. Haven't looked into it myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it when you can. It's in the lock cabinet. You remember the code, right? Also, no, I don't remember the code. Also, you might need to take a look at some of the books. I've been told some of them have been tampered with. I swear, this is like the fifth one this week. I had put them aside for you, but I think the new guy accidentally put them back into the library without looking. I hate to ask, but if you got a moment, could you look around the library and see if you could find them? There should be a history of these books in the library database, so use that to help you out in finding them. Don't stay up too late. Have a good night, Sophie. 
Thanks, Sophie. So, in a locked camp, <clears throat> in the locked cabinet, we can find a tape. So we can find a, a locked cabinet where there's a tape in there. I hear someone walking. I'm, um, it's been a long time since I've played a horror game. So I'm like, kind of like, you know, bro, I thought that said HP. I was like, hey, yo, y'all got a sponsorship? There's a book on the floor. Oh my gosh. I gotta turn the volume down, I'm sorry. I'm hearing so much. I was a teenage, teenager, okay? <gasps> There's Amanda over there. No, not yet. We're not gonna be doing that, not right now. Not yet. No, it's just so quiet, bro. I, I don't like it. Can we like put some music on? Like, I know this is a library, but like, like please. Wait, what was that? Okay, I think those are all just like the same books, whatever. I just gotta make sure I don't miss anything and I'm also procrastinating on going in that back room, okay? Cause you're not the one that has to play this, I do. Oh my gosh, <gasps> there's a TV over there. No, squeak, squeegee of... Yeah, the noise is happening over there. She's probably trying to break out the TV. No surprise there. Squeegee of destiny. I have to clean this entire skyscraper? <laughs> I don't get paid enough for that. Um, the untold story of the melon baller. Oh, that book was like everywhere. I saw it like here and like, there's like four over there too. Oh, there's Wooly and Amanda. Like Amanda scares me, but I also feel bad for her. Arm, the person there. Oh wait, I think I can crouch. Can I? Hello? Can I zoom in? Okay, am, am the person, the R story? I, I don't know what that says. <sighs> Goodness, bro. Ew, I can hear the TV. Okay, but we need a tape first. Okay, so it's in a locked cabinet. I don't think I saw one. Dude, I hear someone walking. Is it here? No, I can't already get stuck. Oh, this. Wait, how am I supposed to find the, what's the code? <laughs> Let's see if this will help. No, nothing. Wait, two, four, f uh, no, I think I'm looking for a four digit code, right? Yeah, okay. See, this is the thing I hated about the game because I'm like, I, puzzle? You want me to do a puzzle? Okay, now let's see if we can find a four digit code. Did we see four books on the floor? I mean, there's gotta be a reason why there's like, there's one, two, three, Four. Well, actually, it's like five books on the floor, so it can't be that. Oh, maybe the clock? It says 12 o'clock, so I'll try that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like, I don't see like any like numbers popping out to me, so I don't know what the, the code would be, and I'm about to look it up. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, these are numbered. So, wait, some of these symbols are, what? Oh, wait. No, that's English. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's just like the way it's written. I was like, what? That says read. Oh, maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's that. So six. Oh my gosh. If it's this, I am so freaking smart. Okay, six, one, nine? Six, one, nine. Oh, maybe it's not that. I'm going to try six, six, one, nine, one. Six, one. Dang it, I'll try six, one, zero, no, okay. Well then, um, <laughs> well, just because I wasn't right doesn't mean I'm not smart. I'm still smart, but not as smart as I thought I was. <laughs> Are, you're telling me it's not read when it says read right there? Hmm. Well, I'm looking it up and hey, don't ever be ashamed to look up how to do a puzzle, okay? Cause I do it often, okay? And there is no shame in that. And 6358, wait, how'd you get that? Okay, they said it's 6358, which like, I don't know how y'all got that. 
<laughs> six, three. But y'all see like where my mind was going when I said it's read. There we go. But y'all see y'all see what I'm saying, like why I thought it would be read. Okay, how do I crouch? Oh, control. Okay, let's plan a trip. Oh my gosh, and our favorite rocket ship going through the sky. Little Einstein's. How do they get six three five eight? I'm like pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Cause how was it not read? It says read right here and right. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop complaining. No one's behind me, right? All right. This is bringing back so many memories. Okay, not good memories. <gasps> Where's Wooly? Oh no, she killed him. It said by Sam Colton. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Hi Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. At least in our imaginations we can. Oh gosh, she's in a, an abusive home. With my magic train. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? If I could visit anyone in the world? Probably my husband, Chris Evans. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have Think about all the places we can go. Oh my gosh. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. Okay, so Brazil, London, the pyramids. But wow, Paris, it's so dark and... in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? Um, the, the lamp? Oh, okay. <laughs> she was waiting for my response. I'm like, uh, the, the lamp? Is that not right? The, the lamp? Her stage presence. <laughs> what the? There's a That's alligator under better. her couch? Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. Where can I do that? Oh yeah, and then in the in the game, you can pick the wrong options to piss her off, bro. Obviously, this is the right answer, but we can save the pyramids. That would be a fun place to see. But the Eiffel Tower isn't there, silly. No, I think it's over there. But if it's not there, maybe it's here. Jeez, can't you figure this out? I mean, I guess you can see it over here. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris. Jeez. <laughs> She'd be getting so mad. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Two Let's coins? Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. This is way before inflation. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! Oh, you can, um, just do the plug. Ah, uh, you're no fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised you listened. Just don't get mad if it doesn't come out the way you want it to. See, there's five coins right there. Oh, she smashed it anyway. Okay. Let's count them together. One, two, two three, four, five. five. I have five coins. Let's go. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? Yeah. One, two. The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. <gasps> Gretchen. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? The Isle of Dead Dogs? Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, <laughs> isn't it? She is so funny. The Isle of Dead Dogs. I actually don't know what she's talking about. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their cultural knowledge. The owner of the Isle of Dead Dolls hangs dolls to keep demons away. Do you think that really works? 
It's um, near Mexico City, okay? Oh, that's Mexico City. Our next stop is Mexico City! I definitely Our thought those were pyramids. ticket to Mexico City on my magic train Okay, what's with this lizard coins. down here? Or a possum? Anyway, that ticket cost three coins. So let's take those away from what we have. One, One two, two, three! Oh no, that's all our coins. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? Rob a bank. Oh, I can or we sell can sell one of these okay. for some coins. <laughs> Which one? She's like, or I can take it from my dad's wallet. Uh, which one I think costs the most? Well, this one has like a mess up eyes. And this one's a clown. No one wants to buy that. Maybe the chicken. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared. And it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Yeah. Did he just get sent to heaven? Wow, I got three coins from Mr. Rooster. Let's let's go. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? <laughs> Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Bro, Amanda, why do you want to learn about him? Well, I know why. It's because you're a psycho. We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins. Oh, we need and one I more? I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Let's go. Now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. Dang, this is about to be the longest vacation. Oh, no, no, go away. What the heck? Get this wheel out of here. Why? <laughs> stop. <laughs> Leave her alone. Wow. Swiper. What the was that guy? Wait, that must have been he Swiper. He was going to take my coins. <laughs> Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, three, four. That is so funny. Like, what would you okay, call him? He's like, time to catch my train. Swipe the fox and what's a key word for like stealing? Man, she looks so time, sad. I guess. But <laughs> yeah. I wish I really could go see the world. Wait, what? No, bro, that happened way too fast. Hello? Okay. I knew I should have had, like, my phone out. Um. Okay, we probably need... You are... So out of pocket for that, Amanda. Stop, stop it, stop it right now. Okay, I'm coming. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, thank you. Watch, watch me, okay. okay. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. There's a legend that there is a special, special toy hidden deep in these woods. Oh, that's exciting. It makes me think about what... <laughs> okay, which toothbrush do you think I should... I know which one you like. The blue one. <laughs> yeah, I do like the blue one. How did you get... <laughs> Who even are you? Go away! <laughs> We shouldn't talk about them. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. 
it, friends. Hey, Amanda. And you didn't help me at all. Wait, no, I'm sorry. So you'd sorry. better find something different. Uh, I'm just, I'm just trying to watch my favorite TV show. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Stop it! You're scaring me! There's something I saw and I want to get a picture of it. I, I can't get over that jump scare of it just breaking through the ceiling. And if y'all don't know, yes, that was indeed Amanda. That, that was Amanda. That was the noise that we heard earlier. That was her just like crawling in the, in the basement. <laughs> I mean, not the basement, the attic. That was just her just crawling around. <laughs> so creepy like bro bro amanda i just i love this game so much the second one is about to be so crazy and where the heck is wooly at least in our imaginations we can do we hear these noises With before my if you could visit anyone in the world who would you go see i wonder if we could put kate I wish I could still visit her. Oh my god. I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have gone. Think about she actually all the reacted to that. Can... Dude, I don't think we were but, hearing these noises no. before. What's happening? So, don't... See, you guys are lucky. I gotta sit through all of this, but you guys just Eiffel get to have the, the jump cuts. Where can I... I'll let you smash the, the piggy bank. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, go ahead, Good you night, little psycho. Mr. Piggy. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, I think there was something Let's on the hammer. It looked like a code. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Let's do, um... You really think I can get coins for that old thing? Dang, okay. You have really weird taste in toys. Okay, girl, these are your toys. You just got them. What's saying so my tits are weird Mr. where it's Rister. literally in her closet. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I think Sam gave I that to her. I hope make someone else laugh. Wow, you really don't know anything, do you? Bro, she got a mouth on her. Jack the Vipa killed at least five people in London in 1888. Busy guy. <laughs> Amanda, girl, this this child needs therapy severely. Why do you even know about Jack the Ripper? You're like seven years old. Oh yeah, I want to see if you just like let it continue to attack her. Just checking something on my phone. Wait, did she just? Oh crap, she's supposed to get so mad at me. <laughs> oh, nothing. I want to go on my trip. Where can I find more coins now? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, like maybe in the couch. Wow, you're smart. There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushions. What was that? We just hopped off the couch. Wait, it didn't show it. Okay, let's get ready for that jump scare. Come on. I know you're I know you're gonna do it. Bro, don't stop. Don't come on, bro. I hate her. I hate her so much. <laughs> that is so disgusting. I hate the animation to just... It says this game is coming out this year, which I'm really excited for. This game, it stays with you. Dialogue, it is so good. I love this game so much and I cannot wait to play it. Oh my gosh, I love how they did the logo. The two is a worm. <laughs> 
love it. Yeah, I'm so excited for this game to come out in the fall. I really hope it's early fall, but it's probably not gonna be, it's probably gonna be like November. But once it comes out, I'm definitely gonna do a full playthrough because this game, I just love it so freaking much. It's one of the best games out there and it's like, I feel like pretty underrated too. But yeah, you should give this game a shot. And you can also watch my playthrough of the first game on my channel. It, it's a pretty like old video because it's from last year. And you know, I was still like getting used to YouTube and stuff. So I was maybe a little shy, but I think at that point I was like coming out of my shell. So I think I was talking a bit more about this game. It's, it's so good, it's so good. And I'm so curious as to what direction the story is gonna go. Like, are we playing as Riley again or did something happen to her too? Like what happened to Wooly? I think in one secret tape, he was like in some kind of purgatory. So yeah, I hope he's okay. He's probably not, but I hope he's okay anyway. But anyway, if you liked the video, give it a like. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Sometimes I can feel myself rotting. Ro ro <laughs>